Hello everyone, I hope you've all had a really wonderful week. Today's lookbook is all about how to elevate your workwear outfits and with simple and really easy tweaks, how you can create really effortlessly chic and elegant office outfits this spring. So let's get started. Suits. So of course, no workwear wardrobe is complete without that great fitting suit in the first place. And that's despite me actually working from home. I actually love and often do get dressed up in a suit. I might end up doing meetings online, so I want to look quite put together, but I also really love how a suit makes me feel. I don't know about you, but I end up getting so much more ticked off my list when I'm dressed up for the office as such, even if that office is my living room. Now, I don't always go for a head to toe, quite suited and booted look, although that is often a combination that I personally personally reach for when I'm heading out for meetings, but I do tend to use my suits in so many different mixed and matched kind of ways, both for workwear, but also for my everyday wardrobe as well. So they really do end up getting their wear with me. But as you'll see throughout this video, the days of a suit feeling very drab and quite boring are long gone. It's 2024, we have been through an awful lot, I think you'll agree. Now we need to start having some fun with our workwear. The workwear dress. Now, a little like finding the perfect workwear suit, an office appropriate dress can work wonders for your wardrobe too. The joy of having said workwear dress is of course that there's less to think about. It can often be one item and you're ready to head out the door. And this particular dress is a perfect example of when the office dress is created very, very well. Just look at that detail of how that neckline crosses over, the fringing effect with the monochromatic weave. Plus it comes with this matching skinny belt that just breaks up that block of fabric. And did I mention there's also a matching jacket? Oh, how I love, love, love this jacket. Now, some of you might have seen this already on a YouTube short I did on my birthday, but hopefully you agree it works just as nicely styled with my jeans as it does with the matching dress. And when your clothes mix and match like that, it's a sign of a very good piece indeed color combos. Now, one thing I think is often forgotten, but hugely important when it comes to workwear and creating your own really elegant office outfits would be personality. No one wants to become a clone of the next person in the similar navy suit, no matter how beautifully tailored it might be. A yellow orange or perhaps a light yellow would add a pop of quite unexpected color. Pale blue underneath will make the blazer look even more sharp and stand out. A rusty orange would feel quite strong and bold or a deep Caramel gives the look a little bit more richness overall. So when thinking about color combinations, it's a bit easier to start off with say two or three. And as you get the hang of it, you can start to experiment adding more tones into the mix. And not only will it polish your basic suits, but it will give you so many more ways to style them too. Just a quick mention, if you're not already, it'd be really lovely if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. I've added a link in the description box below for you to be able to do that at the end of this video. Bright and bold. And that theory doesn't have to only apply to those who love neutrals. The color maximalists should play around with their shades as well. So take this bottle green blazer I have, for example, that matches the trousers that I'm wearing. A really easy option, again, would be to style it with my white silk blouse underneath. But what about if you went for that tonal look, but added a of red instead into the mix, or perhaps even a splash of bright aqua or yellow. Or looking at pieces that I already have in my own wardrobe, I've just simply gone with this softer, slightly paler green blouse instead of my usual white option. I think it really pulls the look together, but at the same time, it just gives it a little bit more personality and depth. So do have a play with the colors in your own wardrobe. Literally hold your favorite jacket against your rail of clothes and just stop when you find a mixture of tones that you really Really like. Often it's those unusual combinations that you seem to be drawn to that will actually end up working the best. Because I do think maybe subconsciously that's your personality trying to shine through. Workwear can start basic. So let's assume for this one that you're able to wear your jeans for the office. So we can get together a very classic and timeless look with say your favorite pair of jeans and a simple white t-shirt. So far so good, but it is perhaps a little bit too basic and there's none of my personality shining through. I would start off from this point thinking about texture and layer say my velvet blazer over the top. So then I need to sprinkle a little bit more of my personality into the look and I love my very slightly rock chick looking 
matching pointed toe ankle boots. They're not typically a conventional office look as such, but it's just adding a little bit of me into the outfit idea. And plus, actually, I do think they're a great shape to particularly start with cropped jeans. I think that works really nicely. Next, I need to think about shape and proportions. I've lost my waistband along the way with this particular t-shirt. So let's lift the line a little bit and add a belt to make it feel more intentional and of course to give a point of focus to the look overall. Now I don't know about you but I think my hair looks a little bit messy so let me get that out the way and make it look a little bit more polished and elegant and finally the missing link accessories. A structured bag perhaps for another layer of polish and perhaps a bit more texture. I could then add a trio of necklaces to add a bit more interest to that basic t-shirt and then maybe depending on the weather a scarf to take with me if perhaps it gets cold on the train on the way home. Hopefully, as you can see from this particular outfit idea, you really don't need to overcomplicate your workwear looks to feel really polished and put together. Step by step, I've built up from those very basic pieces to create an office outfit that feels really chic and elegant and put together, but still with, hopefully you agree, bundles of my personality in the mix as well. I could go on and on and on with all the different variations of this look that I could do with just the blazers I've got in my wardrobe but I think you get the idea. It's quick, it's easy, and most importantly, I really feel like me in that outfit. Skirts. So let's run through a few of my favorite types of skirts that I would wear to work and how I would make them feel a little bit more elegant and elevated. Now this list is not exhaustive, but in the interest of not making this the longest YouTube video in the world, I'm going to just share three today. And I must add here actually, although I like wearing typical workwear, I never buy something solely for the office as such. My criteria is often the same, fit, fabric, silhouette, and what will it go with that I already have in my wardrobe, the pencil skirt. So let's start with the most traditional office type skirt, the humble pencil. Elevated already as this one has actually been made from a beautiful blend of wool. Now one mistake I did make with this one, which I would obviously advise against you doing yourself, I think you should probably size down instead of going true to size. The joy of a pencil skirt for me really comes into their own when they're quite tight fitting, certainly when they're really snug on the waistband at least. And unfortunately this one is coming up a tiny bit big, so I've just been cinching it in with a belt to try and get that effect instead. The column skirt. A 90s style column skirt is a great way to not only make yourself feel really streamlined and a little bit taller, but they do feel a little bit more on trend at the moment too. So if you're wanting to update your workwear looks, this is particularly something I would keep an eye out for. And in actual fact, I've added a few favorites, a little bit of a style edit in the description box below for you of some I found about on the high street recently. The hourglass. Hourglass skirts are one of my absolute favorites because they really do a lot of the heavy lifting for you when it comes to creating a really beautiful silhouette. They're feminine, they're really elegant, and proof is in the pudding with this one. You absolutely don't need to spend a fortune to find a great one. And these are just one outfit idea per skirt. So there are so many different ways you could keep mixing and matching and playing with the different pieces you've already got in your wardrobe to change up those skirt looks. Add a blazer to feel more suited, a silk necktie to have a touch of print in the mix, perhaps a contrasting pair of heels for an unexpected pop of color, or a statement belt in a contrasting tone to just really exaggerate that hourglass shape even more. The power of a perfect cotton shirt. A classic white shirt is of course a staple piece for any capsule wardrobe, but obviously they're especially important when it comes to workwear. Aside from your suits, it'll no doubt turn out to be one of your most hardworking pieces, so it's really important to get the purchase right and ultimately elevate your office outfits as a result. Now I honestly think it's worth saving a larger portion of your workwear budget as such for the shirt, as inevitably it's that shirt that's probably going to be seen the most in the office. While you can of course pick up a cheap and quite cheerful option at the cheaper end of the high street, I would only say that that's a viable option if they've got the fabric composition right. From personal experience, I would say a crisp cotton poplin, either mid to heavyweight, will not only look the best all day long, but it'll retain that shape no matter how many times you stick it in the washing machine. I also, 
on a personal level, really love cotton sateen. Again, when it's done in a slightly heavier weight. Not only does that silkiness feel really amazing to wear, but it just gives off quite a subtle looking sheen, which is quite understated, but it makes a really nice effect too. I would also keep an eye out for any details, however small they may be. Those points that just make the shirt stand out above the rest. Now that could be that it's got perfectly placed darts that just makes it sit really nicely. Or perhaps a collar trim in a different texture that just adds a subtle point of difference. Do the sleeves have buttons on the cuffs? And more importantly, do those buttons look a little bit plastic? Or are they hopefully adding a touch of elegance for the look you're going for. Now I'll admit all those finer details do generally often come with a bit of a higher price tag, but it's those little points that as a whole will be greater than the sum of their parts. Simple style tip. Now if you're not fond of wearing shirts, just generally speaking, then a layering shirt could be a perfect alternative for you instead. It'll give you the cuff and collar details to add a subtle bit of interest, while at the same time having the comfort of that cotton jersey against your skin instead. Great separates can go a really long way. Now though I love having a couple of really good suits in my own wardrobe, they're not the be all and end all when it comes to really elevated looking outfits for the office. Having a beautifully tailored pair of trousers could be just as valuable and interchangeable for your looks as their suited counterparts. So let me show you a few examples. So this is a favorite pair of wide leg trousers that I've had in my wardrobe for a couple of years now. The tailoring is impeccable. The fabric composition with Italian flannel is really beautiful and the fit and the shape they create feels really flattering and yet they're incredibly versatile too. I have literally worn them in so many different ways, it is very hard to count. But thinking of those really elevated workwear looks, I have a few go-to favorites. Now the waist is particularly nice on these, and actually the new version that I just spotted over on their website is even better, as it has smooth belt hoops rather than this buckle detail at the back. But I do like to show that off by tucking in my shirts really neatly and adding a belt to accentuate that point. Then for something with a little bit of a masculine feminine kind of twist. I like adding a tie and just making it into a bow at the neckline. Now it's quite helpful to do this with a softer fabric as it will just hang a little bit nicer as well. Another favorite combo and perhaps something for when it's a little bit cold outside would be switching out that shirt for a simple turtleneck jumper and layering a necklace or three perhaps over the top to give you that focal point. Depending on your needs, you could then finish with a cropped blazer for something really polished looking, an oversized blazer for something a little bit more cool and on trend, or switch out for a v-neck to make it feel a little bit more relaxed, and back to a blouse again for something a little bit in between. You don't need masses of pieces in your wardrobe to make similar combinations, just a few brilliant separates within the same color palette that you can mix and match really, really easily. And that's just a few looks with one pair of trousers, so imagine the outfit ideas you could make with your favorite blazer for another day maybe. I really hope today's video has given you food for thought with your own office outfits and it's given you a few ideas of how you can very easily elevate some of your favorite go-to looks. As always it'd be really lovely to hear from you all in the comment section below which is your favorite outfit that I've shared today or maybe there's a favorite style tip that you're looking forward to trying out. Always really lovely to hear from you all. Don't forget if you're not already subscribed I would be very grateful if you'd like to. I've added a link for you to be able to do that in the description box below. And to all my lovely subscribers who have been here for a while, thank you. As always, I really hope that you found today's video helpful. Big hugs everyone and I shall see you in a couple of days. Take care.